kid. We only, you know, we could use we could use a spare. There's no time for personal desire. He'd be disappointed with me, or Khufu is important, make it happen. It would cost me five orders, because I guess I'm busy getting busy. And a hundred gold, but we got tons of money. And we'd be in love. Yeah, let's do it! Who doesn't want to be in love? Come on, man. Tutorial culture. Wasset has reached developing culture. So instead of weak culture, I think is what we were, we're now developing. New culture level. Higher tiers of culture unlock additional improvements and wonder for your city. Each new tier will also trigger a positive event for the city. Today, a group of laborers decide to join your workforce, granting you a new worker. I'll put them to work right away. All right, sweet. All right, keep uh, keep sort of moving this direction. Um, new worker over here. Build the apadana, or as I like to call it, the empanada. Mm. Oh, it needs 300 food, which we don't currently have. But if we built it, it would give us more civic points, more culture per year. I think we'll plan on that, although we'll have to wait until we got some food stored up. I ironic! Apparently, I have not built enough food resources, you guys. Just buy the... Oh, shit! I could buy... Let's say, just for convenience, I'll buy 100 food for 471 gold, which I've got. I forgot about that. The empanada. Let's do it. Construction has begun. Meanwhile, uh, the pyramids, yeah, we, we could have built, except we just used a bunch of stone. I, can't, I don't think I can just sit and buy all the stone, though. Let's get some of these shrines up. So they're saying, hey, build a shrine of Neath over here. All right, I will build a shrine of Neath. So it looks like... Oh, no, they are slightly different. So with Neath, so all of them give you plus two culture per year. The Neath gives us plus one level for new units. Uh, a shrine of Isis, all units start with Herbalist. Osiris, quarries get a 50% um, output increase, but I don't think we really got quarries going on over there. And the Shrine of Ra gives us an extra half order per year. Alright, Neath, sure. Oh, yes, I'm out of orders. <laughs> Alright, um, we can get some previews here. So to me, it looks like the sweet spot is either here or here. This gets you gets us three of the game and the camels regardless. And then other than that, it doesn't seem to be functionally much different between these two. So I'll just send you kind of like that. That's going to be okay. See, I'm hoping the fact that I'm in here means no one could settle on any of these spots. But I actually don't know. Remove trees. Cut trees. Um will grow back, though. So it'll give us more more wood that we could use, presumably, for the wonders or things like that. We could hit it again to clear it, but if we don't clear it, then it will just regrow. So that seems okay. Maybe I'll come over here. We'll build a mine. It's recommended. Sure. So the mine itself gives five extra... Um, this. Iron. Per year. And then we get 60% with the hill, so we got the plus eight and a tooltip over there. Sounds good to me. Uh, we got whiskey and chocolate. Can't, just came in. Hey, Drifter, thank you very much. Hey, Quill, long-time lurker of both your Twitch and Yubtub, and thought it was time I subbed. I was looking on Steam to buy a game, but couldn't decide, so here's the money instead. Much love from Fife, Scotland. Well, thank you very much, Drifter. That is really nice, and uh, I've been to Fife. It's excellent. I like Scotland a lot. Um, what does it say? There's a game... What am I thinking? Oh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of... Um, uh, bo the board game Isle of Sky, which I was just dabbling with. I was like, hold on, there's something that, like, I I'm, I'm remembering, like, game, something, something kind of British-y. What was it? Yeah. Isle of Sky, uh, I just got the digital version of it. Excited to give it a bit of a go. Imagine being able to find iron air anywhere. That is true! Historically, in Civ games, I have had some problem, uh, gaining access to certain resources. Iron, oil, coal, basically everything. But then it's okay, we get a uranium and we just nuke everyone, so it all works out in the end. We're getting food and culture from discovering something over here. Let's go up to the hill for some vision. <gasps> Another city site over here. Okay. So yes, we can expand a wee bit more, which is lovely. Let's uh, scrooge through this little bottleneck. And we are out of orders. Let's 
So I'm going to move you to here. Do we want to start a new family? I'd say we do. So, um, because we have the Ramesside and the Saites. So our final city. New city will not be connected. We are going to have to build some road. So we've got the um, Amarna. All cities get uh, generate extra civics and generate negative unrest. Or sages, which gives us um, same thing, plus two civics regardless. This would give us plus one science per population and a discount to building urban specialists. I mean, science is good, but uh, this is also pretty... Oh, and, oh, this lets us found a religion. There are vandals to north. We could build another military city, but we already have a military city. Okay, all cities. This must be all cities of Ramicide. So it does make the uh, mounted cities better, but I kind of want to found a religion and find out what happens. Right? Exactly. Zoroastrianism was founded in Elephantine. Okay. Um, active religions. So we are the only active religion. Although we still haven't, I guess, adopted it as a state religion. Okay. If we do, we get extra culture. And then we can start spending points over here. All right. We'll build one more farm, and then we'll probably do a send a worker to our new city. Oh, we took damage. This is a skirmisher who has a range of two, has shot my scout. Let's run away here. <gasps> ritual performance. In the ruins, we observe a ritual performance centering on the old city's patron god. He tricks minor deities into letting him eat them, but at the end, they cut open his belly and kill him. What should we take from this? Uh, expand our cities, but beware of gluttony. We would get a, a technology, Polis, ham, which unlocks Hamlets, I guess. We could hold such a performance ourselves, which gives us drama. Or we can learn from his cunning. I would become cunning, all foreign leaders' opinion plus 40. That's really cool. And a hard decision. Normally in these games, anything that gives you free tech is like no-brainer. But that's actually a pretty potent thing if we care about our diplomatic situation with some of our neighbors. Yeah, beware of gluttony. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Done. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police. It's probably pronounced polis, right? Like metropolis. Uh, I probably shouldn't have moved there. I'm like, I want the goodie hut. All right, you're awake. You can heal. So let's go ahead and do that before we send you out some more. Brand new city over here. So we can build a Zoroastrian disciple, which allows us to spread the religion. Can establish theology, can build monasteries, temple, cathedral, the Abdur Burzen Mir. I don't know, a wonder, I guess? So, do building these consume your growth? Building these consume training? Con building these consume civics? Yeah. So any of these units will actually stop our growth. That's interesting. I think I'm going to send a worker from uh, from Memphis up there. Although we might still want one. It's whiskey and chocolate. I'm just wondering about an extra military unit. Gotta spread the religion. You know what? Let, let's get a disciple. Let's, let's see what that does. We got whiskey and chocolate from Orpheus with the double 18. Thank you very much, Orpheus. Uh, refresh page. Come on. Don't be fat. Okay, we got attacked again. Ooh, the whole family has converted to Zoroastrianism. And our daughter uh, had a son. Okay, Orpheus, thank you very much. Uh, hey, Quill, I want to make a bad joke, but I'm not funny enough. Guess I'm knee-deep in denial. Yes, and we should build roads. Uh, I can unlock some more laws, although we still don't have the civics to do that currently. Um, wait, free settler. So yeah, right, so I was going to say, some of these techs 
I don't think are texts that actually show up here, but are random sort of other cards and whatever. So instead of researching a tech, we can just get a free settler. So I'm going to do this. All right, you're going to move into friendly territory so you can do some heals. And you are going to aggressively grab the goody hut. In the clouds! I don't notice, do they always have these little icons? Oh, this opened a Wikipedia page! Chachapoya culture. Warrior of the clouds, culture of the Andes. Oh! Oh, well that's nice! Oh! I didn't realize that. I'll we'll have to be on the lookout for more of these little book icons to load up Wikipedia pages for things. A massive edifice surrounds this hilltop city in the clouds, which looks to have housed many thousands of citizens. Shattered by tree roots and overgrown with dense foliage, the settlement appears to have been an early vandal's capital. Restoring the crumbling ruin might improve relations, or it could end up a waste of our precious resources. So we could restore it. So it costs us 35 rocks, which ain't much. Um, it would give us, personally, Queen Hatshepsut, some XP. How old are we? 47, okay. Um, and it would make the va Vandals like us more, which would break us even. Or, we just forge valuable materials, which would give us 95 rocks, 60 uh, steel, and still give us XP. I think we're going to forge. Yeah, so it looks like the, the inspiration for the flavor of the event was drawn by, you know, something, you know, in real world culture. But here it's being applied to, to something else just to mix it up. But I do like it. It's like, here, it's a reference to this thing that is a real thing. Like, oh, that's fancy. Alright, some more Danes. At least they won't attack me. Just trying to get somewhere safe with my scoot. And it looks like you have to take another heal action. Okay, we've completed our work. I think we are going to go and get some of these specialists uh, down to start doing some things. Um, or an extra settler. We are going to get one for free that can go there. When we finish our tech. Okay, I guess, I guess we don't need another settler right now. So I think I like the idea of getting some more specialists down. Because they will give us, you know, more food and growth and whatever. All these specialists also give us some science. Wait, spreads borders? Oh, I didn't realize that was part of the thing. So building a specialist, culture bombs next to it. Oh, that's big. Wait, you can also upgrade specialists? Okay. Oh, I mean, you may have to get your city better or something like that. I don't know. Oh, man. See, it'd be awesome. Ooh. Sudden insight. Nights can be long when you bear the mantle of leadership. However, one evening, as you lie in bed half asleep, you experience a flash of insight. Something bold. Something that will improve the lives of your subject. What will you do? So I guess this event only happened because we have a wisdom of two or greater. We can write it down, unveil it in the morning, acquire random technology, or sell the idea to a wise merchant for 300 bucks. No, man, let's get a tech. Military drill. So military drill is a special weapon that you can use to pierce armor. Or maybe it has to do with training people. So this is going to give us the ability to build barracks. So it caught... Okay, having this barrack costs us two iron per year. But we generate 20% more military training rate. Um, also, idle melee units get 20 XP per year. Um, is this a, a tile improvement? So they have to be in the tile? Or is it like anywhere in the city's territory or in the city? Idle melee... Doesn't really... Yeah, it just describes... Idle units have moved, but must not have a cooldown. Is this, like, literally globally? No, that would probably be insane. It can't possibly be global. That would be way too crazy. It must be units that are somewhere. Anyway, we're going to find out, because we're going we're gonna to build it at some point. Um, our scout is now fully healthy. Um, we're going to see if we can sneak through here. Yeah. And this scout is mostly just going to try to... Keep moving forward. We're going to go away from those barbarians. We're going to come over here instead. Go over there. Oh, goody hut. Okay. All right. You're fully healed. Some very dramatic music happening. I don't know what we did to do that, but it's cool. We got our first slinger. Mm -hmm. Your opinion is dumb, therefore you're going to be timed out. Congratulations. Um, yeah, so we got our first range unit. Excellent. 
Uh, I think we're gonna send you towards this barbarian encampment, although it'll take you a while to get there. Seriously though, why did this music just kick into like overdrive? Hmm. Uh, we got more whiskey chop. Excellent. Um, hold on a sec. What are we gonna build here? You guys, you guys think. Aku, hey, thanks again. What happens when you make a vampire? Oh, this is gonna be a bad drink, isn't it? Or bad joke, isn't it? What happens when you make a vampire drink holy water from the backwaters of Mexico? He goes, holy shit. This is a Montezuma's Revenge kind of reference. All right. I think we can do better, though. <laughs> Did we die from all the puns? I think we might. Um, all right, so it looks like built... Oh, my God. There's so many decisions to make. I think we're going to do this. But, like, everything is good. Which is a sign of pretty good design. When there's, like, you really... You want to do all the things. And especially, again, since we're kind of in a vacuum when it comes to this and not really knowing, like, what's the, what's the pro strategy. Oh, we can build our first pasture, so we're going to do that. Um, oh. Okay, a pasture isn't quite as dramatic as I thought. So, enables rancher, sure. It gives us a half an order. Adjacent farms get 20%, so if we just go and farm like crazy next to this, that'll be okay. I'm going to build one because we don't have one yet. There's gold in Damdower Hills. Let's move over here. Another city site. Okay. Okay. Yeah, alright, we're going to go back to some settler spam, I think. We still don't have our fourth city here, so our missions may be a little slow. Uh, the risk of maybe moving a range of barbarians. We're going to move over here. See, we have another We have another Bouton for Wikipedia. So this is a reference to the Tomb of Cyrus. The Persian king, right? Our expedition approaches an ancient monument. The structure appears to be the tomb of a great leader. An inscription reads, Passerby, whoever you may be, I was once king of kings. Grudge me not, therefore, this piece of earth that covers my body. We can leave the tomb undisturbed. Um, it would make us gracious, which gives us plus two charisma. Which gives us plus six civics points per turn, so we can pass more laws. Okay. And our warrior that we lead would get more defense. There will be no queen but me! Destroy it. Plus two legitimacy. Okay. What is our legitimacy? I don't see it on here. Is it just that we are at a zero? Maybe it's a trait like courage and whatever. Maybe we should just take this just to see what happens. <clears throat> 40 by the crown. Oh, is this legitimacy? Oh! That's legitimacy there. Okay, so we're at a 40. So family opinion. So I guess all the families like us 40 more because of our legitimacy. And we have more orders. So two legitimacy is not much then. Let us study. 95 science. So that's three turns worth of science. So that's not bad. But you know what? This isn't replacing anything. It's just giving us a flat-out extra two charisma. So we currently have two, so we'll go to four. Maybe it'll matter for some events. I'm going to do this undisturbed. Yeah, charisma four. Um, I mean, maybe because I clicked off over here. Maybe it was confused and didn't actually hide the thing. How is that? You are going to come back here again. And you're still going to march towards the barbarians. Yeah, hit that guy before he hits us. Uh, this is our slinger. You are also going to move in this direction. And then we're out of orders. Yeah, we need to get more orders, man. We're starting to, like... That's starting to be a limited. Bef until, up until now, we had no problems. We had more orders than than units that could use them but now that's not the case anymore um prince consort and princess nefe giving birth to another son <gasps> my husband is now ill i'm assuming these are two separate events and not related ill 20 percent chance of death 20 percent chance of severely ill if we had gone slavery we'd have more orders you're right i can see the value 
Um, okay, Arist Aristocracy unlocks Ambassador and potentially some more laws, although we can't really pass a new law right now. Uh, Phalanx gives us the ability to have Spearmen. We may even be able to upgrade our Warrior to a Spearman. Then there's the Chariot stuff, which sounds very cool in Egyptian. Unlocks the Lumber Mill. Let's go the Phalanx. Um... Because I'm not sure. It might be possible to upgrade you to that. Okay, we're going to attack you again. So that you can't just sit around and spear at me forever. Because that is just rude. I'm going to slowly move out there. Oh, the rant! Oh man, I'm good at ranting. Hold on! What are we going to whine about today? I, I got stuff. The font needs different capital I or lowercase l. You know what? I think you're right. Because ill just looked like just like the, the, the Roman numeral 3, right? Looked like I, I, I or something. Uh, you receive a personal message from Asher Benepal, but it is a it is little more than a confusing, insult-laden rant against our nation, broken only by threat. He said something about my my father smelling of elder.